Hi, Michael from Machination Studio again. Uh, week 7, uh, the real week 7. Uh, the week started with me buying some metal profiles and uh, getting Jasper from Reactor 79 to help me uh, cut them up and weld it up into a sort of a frame to protect my Colossus during shipment. So this, this frame will go around the Colossus and uh, the shipping crate will be built, I mean, will, will be around that. So that should give me really good protection while it goes to New York. I then gone on to work on some of the uh, aluminium rods that I needed to uh, do different things to, for different parts. This, this bit had audio but uh, there was some crackling in the microphone so I had to remove the audio here. So that's do it. That that's me working on the Gatling gun bits. And then this is the bit where I work on the hatch pieces uh, that controls the two arms that opens the front hatch. So this is how it's supposed to work. Uh, servos attached to one side, it turns it, and as a result, both sides moves. Yeah, this side is not turning out well. Like I said, the um, this one doesn't work very well on the big ones, on the bigger rods. But that's fine because some of these sites are going to go inside, so it doesn't really, you won't tell if one of the edges is in a bad shape. In fact, I probably do like to scrub them up a bit so that they can grip the sides a little bit better, so it doesn't really matter. See, once they're inside, you can't see a thing, so that's fine. This other side. The muzzle flash may look a little bit small, I'm not sure. Often the best reason to have a 3D printer, you know, available on hand is not so much to make finished products, but to make tools to get the job done. So here I've got a miter angle that I've made that specifically fits the 12mm rods that I use. Uh, so I can cut 60 degrees, 45 degrees angles. Um, yeah, and uh, later on I'll show you another example with uh, another jig that I've got. So these are part of the exhaust, the exhaust pipes. Forty de forty-five degree angles. Okay, so now I'm going to put the screws into this perforated board uh, so I can spray paint the heads. I'll show you some examples of what I did before uh, in the previous build. So I, I had to shove them straight into the cardboard and it was actually quite painful. 
It's a lot easier to do now with this, but I suspect I probably made the holes a little bit too big. Uh, because they go in easy, they come out easy as well, so that's probably not the best solution. But now I'll work with this. Like these, they don't come out, you know, these, these just don't come out. But yeah, it's a lot more painful to make them. <laughs> and a lot slower. While I'm doing this, I'll be watching a little bit of YouTube, so... Uh... So I've 3D printed these um, jigs for um, bending my railings on. Because uh, when I was doing this last time, it was a real pain trying to hold everything together. So I'm hoping that this helps. So it's a block that's the same shape as kind of like the balcony bits on my Colossus. So I'm not sure you can see that there's a little bit of a diamond plate texture on this. The idea is that I can put the railings here and using the hairdryer slowly heat and bend it along the edge of this piece. So that, that, that hopefully works out for me. So the gloves are uh, just a minor insulation against the heat. Because it's just a hairdryer, so it's not that hot, but uh, after a while it does get, you know, a bit hot. I'm still trying to figure out a, a good way to do this. This seems to work out. Hmm, seems to be working. I think it's a very fine timing between, you know, this getting too soft and it being too hard and too brittle. Yeah, once I see it get a little bit soft, I have to stop and grab it real quick. I think this is, this should be good. Yeah, there you go. Well, this, this turned out to be pretty long, so I separate this video into two parts, so make sure you watch the part two as well.